what the fuck's your problem? It's just some nerdy ass kid. Seriously, what's wrong with you? Is that a human child? Perhaps they're local. No, what am I saying? The whole city is a mess, clearly abandoned. That child is also a mess, clearly. <sighs> They're just going to hurt themselves if they keep this up. Now, the question is, can I approach without scaring the hell out of them? Easy now. Nice and slow. So, how about that darkness, huh? <laughs> No! I'm sorry! Don't be scared. Uh, I know they look sharp, but they... Actually, no, they are sharp. Like, really sharp. But it's okay! Uh, hey! Wait! You're going to get hurt! Not by me, I mean, if you keep running... Come on, Fearon, this kid is clearly terrified. I don't like using this, but if talking to him won't work, at least it may be a bit of a safety net. You need to calm down. I am not going to harm you. I can open your eyes. Oh, good God! Holy shit! What the actual fuck? That's no human child! That's no human child! Hey! Stop! Don't go outside! Listen to me! I'm not entirely sure what you're made of, but you're in serious trouble if that lightning hits you! Not to mention, I think it's raining sand? So, you can't go outside. Not right now. Look, I'm not scary, all right? It's okay. You're okay, I promise. <sighs> I'm really sorry. I have a bad habit at not making good first impressions. So just, I don't know, focus on your breathing for a moment. Uh, breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. Are you okay? I mean, physically. Obviously, you're not okay, but... But, you know... What the hell is happening? What is this kid? Is he even a kid? He totally just cut his own arm off like some salamander. God, this is so awkward. Do I just leave? Wait. That's even more awkward. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Come on, Viron. Think. <clears throat> so, I'm guessing you're here for that wish. Am I right? <sighs> the one promised in the letter. The last time I had a conversation with someone about it, it only led to trouble. Ah, crap. Think. Better. That sucks. Sorry to hear that. <sighs> I really don't want to compete against anyone. I was under the impression that this would be some, uh... I just wanted to see what it'd be like to be... But it's difficult, you know? You wouldn't think it would be, but then all of a sudden, whoa, you're producing all sorts of fluid from your face. And then you can't even think about the people you like without there being physical affliction, and... Okay, half of that didn't make sense. But the half I did understand, I hated. I guess I got my wish. I'm here, <laughs> experiencing, and it's, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's a lot. So, you're currently wishless is what you're saying. Hey, me too! I haven't quite figured out what my game plan is for that yet, but I'll think of something, maybe. Is there something else you would use that wish for? Like... What else do you want? I... I want... Uh, I, 
I want Aslan and Marion back. I wish I didn't leave their side. Everything felt great. Now everything just feels terrible. All because of my stupid mouth. And then I panicked and ran away. You know, I get it. Life is suffering. A lot of things that happen are out of your control. But you don't need a wish to fix a misunderstanding between you and your friends. Sometimes all you need is a bit of effort and communication. If they're somewhere in this city, I'm sure you'll meet again. They would be headed towards the clock tower. That's where, uh, that's where those who have a wish are supposed to go, apparently. The clock tower, huh? Yeah. I suppose the really tall building would make sense for some sort of hideout, super boss kind of place. Uh... <laughs> huh. You're right. <laughs> you actually aren't that scary. At least when I can see you properly, anyways. So, uh... What is this place? What? Uh... Oh. This is a mall. You came here without knowing that, huh? Don't have malls where you're from? Oh, uh, I don't know how I got here. I was outside at one point, and then all of a sudden... You don't know how you got here?! <laughs>